You know what? Let's just jump right into it. In the 738 update, there was a new feature sneaking in. It's mostly a bug fix update, but this feature, Force Mono Peaks display, I think is worth checking out. And uh, here's sort of a demonstration of it. So in this project, I have a bunch of stereo audio files and one 16 channel drum recording here. Now it starts to look kind of cluttered because there's a lot of very similar waveforms on the left and right channels or channels one and two um, for each of these. And um, some people have the preference of wanting to see just mono peaks for everything, regardless of how many channels there are. So the 7.38 update added that feature and we can find that in the peaks display settings. So peaks display settings is here. If you've never seen this window, this is controls for how you visualize waveforms within Reaper. What you see is called a peak. It's a visualization of the amplitude of the recording. And um, there's various ways of displaying that. Normal spectral peaks is what you see here with the different uh, colors based on pitch. And then there's loudness. There is normal peaks plus loudness, spectral peaks plus loudness, spectrogram view, normal plus spectrogram, all these different features. You can adjust the display gain or zoom, really. Um, and you can adjust like the opacity of the, the spectral peaks. Then there's this box here for more options. We can scale the peaks by the square root, which kind of changes sort of the, the th overall thickness of those lines. Then there's rectify peaks, combines um, positive and negative waveforms together into one sort of peak view. Uh, which you you might find helpful. I, I know a lot of video editors use that. Let's turn that off. And now there's this new option, Force Mono Peaks. Now, Force Mono Peaks makes every WAV file, whether it's one channel or 64 channels, appear as a mono WAV file. There isn't really an indication of this happening, so I would caution you against using this feature. The most extreme situation, let me let me find this file. Yeah. In the most extreme situation where you have two channels that are perfectly in phase, but inverted 180 degrees on one channel, you'll get into this issue where because you're merging the left and right channels or channels one and two into a single waveform and they're completely perfectly out of phase, um, as you zoom in, they actually, the waveforms actually get smaller until there's nothing. So yeah something to watch out for. This is the worst case scenario. This is probably not going to come up in a normal production, but I could see um, a mid-side recording looking kind of weird in this view a and just general confusion of, oh, this file is mono. Why am I hearing it in two speakers? That sort of thing. So like, as I said before, th this is a 16 channel file. Um, I've used the channel utility to get everything coming out of two channels, and it sounds like this. But what it actually is, it's 16 channels within one file. It's probably pretty clear what my preference is here, but I think it's worth uh, pointing out that it is a function that you can now do in Reaper. Uh, there was This was just sneaking in with a bunch of bug fixes uh, last Friday that came out. So yeah, if you wanted that feature and didn't know that it was in Reaper, now you know. Now you can do that. And thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this short video about forcing mono peaks. Don't use it, but use it if you want it, if you need it. Go ahead. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, <laughs> enjoy, enjoy.